Life on Earth evolved in water, and all of life requires water to hold cell structure together and to accomplish essential functions. So water is really important, but why is H2O so special, so unique? In this mini lecture, we will talk about hydrogen bond formation, water's extensive capacity for hydrogen bonding, and how water's physical properties and cellular reactions play such a large role in life on Earth. Water is a tiny molecule with many unusual properties. It has only two covalent bonds, and both of them are highly polar. Remember what makes the OH bond so polar? The two elements that are sharing electrons in a water molecule differ greatly in their electronegativity values. Thus, they form polar covalent bonds. H2O is not electrically charged. It's not an ion but it is polar, and overall the molecule is a dipole. Each water molecule has one end that is slightly negative, a partial negative charge, and one end that is slightly positive, thus making it a dipole. A hydrogen bond can form between two different polar molecules or between two different parts of the same large molecule. Which type of bond is indicated here within a water molecule? Is it covalent, ionic, or a hydrogen bond? Click the answer. Through which kind of bonds do water molecules interact with each other? Through covalent, ionic, or hydrogen bonding? Click the correct answer. Which of these arrangements between two water molecules is most likely to occur? Click A, B, or C. Why is water a liquid at room temperature, while most molecules of comparable size are gases? It's because each water molecule has the capacity to form four hydrogen bonds, and it takes a relatively large amount of energy to move into the gas phase. Water has a high specific heat and generally resists rapid temperature rise. Because of the extensive hydrogen bonding between water molecules, water has very high surface tension. Cohesion, the attractive forces between water molecules, contributes an important force to the upward movement of water in plant transport systems. So what if life on Earth had evolved in some other medium than water, some less polar medium? How would things be different? Acetone is less polar than water and has much less capacity for hydrogen bonding. Note its different properties here. If we had two equal containers, one with water and one with acetone, which would heat up more rapidly? Would it be A, acetone? or B, water. Acetone is less polar than water. Note the difference in heat of vaporization. If life evolved in a less polar medium, like acetone, would evaporative cooling be more effective or less effective in a warm environment? Click A for more effective, B for less effective. Not only does water have unusual physical properties that support life, water is extremely important in life processes in general. Water organizes things. When polar substances diffuse in water, hydrogen bonds form between the polar substance and the water. So shells of water molecules form around the polar molecules. Water organizes substances in a mixture. Hydrophilic substances have affinity with water and can form hydrogen bonds with water. Hydrophobic substances are nonpolar, do not have affinity for water, and can cluster together in mutual avoidance of water. Water organizes structures. Since both the contents and the outside environments of cells are polar and watery, what would what properties would you expect the cell membrane to have, the boundary of the cell? 
As you might expect, the bulky interior of cell membranes is nonpolar, so the core of the phospholipid bilayer is hydrophobic and creates a barrier. Not only is water important in organizing substances in cells, water is also involved in energy transformation processes. Note that water is a product of the chemical reactions in cellular respiration, and water is used up in reactions of photosynthesis. In addition, water is involved in chemical reactions that link or unlink chemical units in a chain. When units are linked together to make a chain, a water molecule is released, condensation reactions. When a chain is digested down to its individual units or monomers by hydrolysis, a water molecule is used up. For example, when sugar units are linked together to make a chain, a water molecule is released at each junction point. This reaction is condensation or dehydration synthesis. When a starch molecule is digested down to its individual units, in the reactions called hydrolysis, a water molecule is used up in the process. So water, water everywhere in life. Water's hydrogen bonding really helps us explain its properties and behavior in cells. Water is very important in many life processes. It organizes structures, it is involved in universal energy transformation processes, and it is Chains of biomolecules are made by condensation reactions broken apart by hydrolysis reactions using water.